advancing and here on campus with administration. Okay, Stephanie? Um, right now, I feel as if ASNMU isn't needed on campus because I feel that they haven't really stepped up and done much. Um, I do think that through change, um, we can improve, like Drew said, the weekend areas. Um, and that, yes, it is needed. It's needed because this is our voice, um, a voice that I feel is not being heard right now. Okay, Camden? Here's your question. Aye, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think it, yeah. Why is ASNMU a needed organization on campus? Um, ASNMU is obviously a needed organization um, as the mediator between administration, the adults that oftentimes will not be listening to a bunch of youths screaming out what they want. Um, it is incredibly vital for us to organize what we have as a group and then use that to integrate all throughout campus. Um, creating a much more stabilized interface of communication between students and, and faculty, especially. Um, and then, hopefully, if we can project that positive image, um, then administration will start acknowledging us as a more respectable, respectable group of people. Okay. All right, any rebuttals? No? All right, next question. What will be your strategy to get the board completely filled? Uh, Stephanie. Um, basically what I think it boils down to is face time of educating our student body to the point where they want to be part of ASNMU. Um, personally, I am uh, not going to lie, I am jumping into this um, pretty last minute but I feel through um, communication with Courtney, um, knowing the pros and cons of how she has handled it as, B as she was VP prior to being president, um, would be my best option right now, as well as um, speaking with my president and figuring out how uh, she wants to go about doing it. Okay, Camden. What will be your strategy to get the board completely built? Board. Do you know what that means? No. Okay. Um, we usually have vacancies on the board, the representatives. Of okay. The, okay. So okay. usually there are vacancies yeah. that the vice president's job is to fill those vacancies. Okay. Okay. Um, a strategy about going about filling those vacancies. Um, you would obviously have to go about making ASNMU seem like a lucrative hobby. Um, something that if you get into it, you might actually very easily be able to create something on campus that you kind of were iffy about before. Um, if we can convince the students that filling these positions is going to allow them to change something or bring something to campus, then it should be easy to maintain these seats that may often just be dropped over and over. Um, so, it's kind of how we market ourselves as an organization. Um, if we can market ourselves as progressive and useful, then we should not have a problem filling any of these positions. Okay, thanks, Drew. Well, I guess I'd have to agree with Stephanie and Camden on that one. Um, it's more about uh, engaging students than it is just being the, the chair of the appointments committee. I think ASNMU being out on campus uh, and as you said, making it lucrative for students. Uh, make, you know, giving them a reason to want to see what ASNMU does, giving them a reason to want to get involved with ASNMU. Um, you know, letting them know what it is that ASNMU does, you know, because we do have programs like the Wildcat Wallet and Wildcat Shuttle and dosing discounts that we do for students, but a lot of students don't know about those programs because we don't get out there enough. So I think it starts with that, getting out there, letting students know what we do, um, and being there to answer their questions um, and letting them know that, uh, you know, we can do things for them if we know what it is that they want done and that there's an open communication. 
Um, so I think getting out and uh, letting students know that you are there for them and that ASMU is something worth joining is where you start with that. Okay, any rebuttals? Okay. Um, part of um, what ASMU does is fill um, student spots on university committees. So um, there are student spots on the Academic Senate, um, on the um, Admissions and Academic something committees and policy committee and there are a, a lot lots of committees with student spots so um, when appointing people to the committees how will you decide who will go to which committee Ken? Um, I would obviously begin deciding where they would go based on what strengths that person has um, what department they're from what they prefer to do how comfortable they are in a position like that um, honestly, not all that sure how I'd go about it. Uh, I'd have to experience it to get a grasp of it. So. Okay. Drew? Um, I think uh, advertising is a big thing because with all those committees that we have right now, I know that there are a lot of openings um, on a lot of the university committees, so I think advertising and letting students know that they're there is a way to start. Um, to get more people to, you know, to actually meet with so that you do know, you know, so you can talk to them about what they want to join. Once you get that going on, I think that one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings, like Hammond said, finding out what their strengths are, what they're interested in, um, is the way to go about that. But then I also think, um, just if we're touching on committees, something else to, to recognize too is, um, I think the vice president should also have a way of holding people accountable on the committees and making sure that uh, committees are are, people are going to their committee meetings that, uh, you know, there, there's not just a, a person that's supposed to be there and isn't going. Um, I think getting people onto the committees and it, it is important, but I think just as important is having uh, accountability rules in play for people that are going to be on the committees. Okay. Stephanie? Um, I would have to agree with both Drew and Camden. Um, personally, I don't have a background. <laughs> so I would have to, I think, kind of jump in head first and see what works, um, obviously, um, the person's desire, um, as well as their abilities and their willingness to commit. Um, and also I would have to agree that we need to get the info out there on, um, to get students involved. Okay. Um, something that ASNMU has always had a hard time with is getting students to know exactly what and who ASNMU is. How do you plan on getting students familiar with ASNMU? Drew? Uh, well, I think, um, you know, in the past with ASNMU we've looked at like posters and other ways for, to show students who we are, but I think there's a different way to go about that. I think it starts with word of mouth. It starts with being out on campus. Um, whether, like I said before, whether it's at the hall government meetings, whether it's in Starbucks, whether it's having a table in the academic mall, a table in Star, you know, a table outside, like in, just in the LRC in general, having big sales, doing things like that, doing things where students can see us, can uh, you know, come up to us, talk to us, find out what we do, we tell them, what they, uh, tell you know, talk to them, find out what their questions are. I think just being visible on campus is the first step in, you know changing the way students look at us, being out there and actually letting them see our faces, not posters, but our faces. That's how we're going to start that. Okay, Stephanie? It's FaceTime, it's being out there, it's talking to the students, it's listening to their needs and their concerns. Um, yeah, it's looking, like Drew said, looking at a poster is completely different than actually knowing the person, going out, approaching, shaking hands. I am Stephanie, I am your vice president. Um, stuff like that, as well as maybe, you know, uh, at least once a month of having like a sit down forum for students to come. But, which also goes back to, we need to begin with educating our student body of what we are. We need to be more approachable um, to NMU students as a whole. Okay, Camden. You want me to read it? Yes, please. All right. Um, something that ASNMU has always had a hard time with is getting students to know exactly what and who ASNMU is. How do you plan on getting students familiar with ASNMU? 
Um, 